Meet Riley Schinnel. When Riley was born five years ago, she was diagnosed with a chromosomal microdeletion, a rare genetic condition that causes a myriad of complex medical challenges. Her diagnosis was made by a world-class medical team at the Greenwood Genetic Center in Greenwood, South Carolina. Through education, diagnostic services, and groundbreaking research, the GGC is able to provide the Schinnels with the best clinical care and genetic counseling available anywhere in the world. It was a hard conversation um, to have when I, I talked to Dr. Skinner on the phone that day. and. When he called me, he said, just always remember Riley's still the same beautiful baby that she was before we had this conversation. The original vision was to, to bring the highest quality of genetic care and services to uh, South Carolina, bringing new technologies to the state uh, and doing it in a, in a true service mode with compassion and caring for the patients we cared for. There are families with rare diseases and for those families, for them it's not a rare disease. It's in the family. Let, let me just say that the Shennels are, are sort of one, really one of the most favorite families that I have in the whole wide world. You know, when, whenever they're here, you know, everybody lights up but I just, I have complete respect and admiration for, for everything that they do, and I'm just so proud to be part of the, the, the extended family that they have here at GGC. Um, it's something, I, it's hard to put in words. It's just amazing. I love that girl. I just want to hug her and kiss her every day, do her therapy, play with her. The list goes on. Greenwood Genetic Center has been there before Riley was born. Uh, originally, we had brought our sample from Greenville to Greenwood, even though Greenwood Genetic Center was in our backyard, we didn't even know where it was. Since then, Greenwood Genetic Center has provided support through genetic counseling, through Dr. Skinner's direct impact with Riley. I think one of the things that's particularly unique about the Genetic Center is the, the care and compassion that uh, just permeates through everything we do is, is care and compassion for the patients and families we see. You know, we were met with compassion. We were met with just, you know, a strong sense of we're going to be there for you for the long haul. So the services that our lab provides are really the clinical services, so medical testing, so to speak. Lots of different genetic technologies and really some of the most powerful methods that are currently available. When Riley was diagnosed in 2010, she was diagnosed with a technology, which is the microarray technology. Uh, the platform that we used was the Affymetrix platform. Affymetrix has a very deep relationship with the Greenwood Genetics Center. We've worked with Greenwood for many years. Um, Greenwood was our key site in our FDA clinical trial for our Cytoscan DX product, which is the only chromosomal microarray that's ever been cleared by the FDA. And so that was one big step where, you know, we've been able to build relationships and uh, build our partnerships with global companies. And it started when my colleague, uh, Freddie White, went out to a big association meeting uh, in the United States and he bumped into somebody who works for the GGC, a lady called Alka. And he was absolutely adamant that supporting GGC was something that we should be doing. Now, you know, I said about our social mission, which is to deliver the benefits of genomics to patients faster. And there's really no way that that is more exemplified than at the GGC. We have statewide offices across South Carolina, but we also have a national and international impact, particularly in the areas of diagnostic testing, research, and treatment. So we're involved in several clinical trials to help develop and identify treatments or therapies for genetic conditions that impact children and adults worldwide. So GGC actually has, uh, is world recognized in intellectual disability and now in autism based on a lot of the work we've been doing the last three years. We literally get samples from not just around South Carolina but from across the U.S. and internationally as well. Um, people come far and wide to have access to the services that we provide. It's the, the interaction of the clinicians, the researchers, the diagnostic lab. That's not really what exists at medical centers. They're, it's all compartmentalized and here it's the entire thing and I, I think that's that's what's unique about the genetic center, what makes it a unique environment. It's why clinical geneticists want to 
come here, it's why researchers want to be here, and it's why the diagnostic people are here. So I've been telling Dr. Skinner, who actually is our CEO director, and I want to put this on record, is just one of the most compassionate and uh, knowledgeable and amazing human beings that I have met. He's such a big source of inspiration. He manages the care of those two children himself. The uh, resilience and the strength of the families that we see um, and, and the love and compassion they have for their children and their families, it uh, has a significant impact on, on me personally. And uh, it's rewarding, but it also is inspiring to see, to see what the families give back, uh, I guess, to us as professionals. Uh, we were sitting there trying to think of things that we could do to promote and give back to Greenwood Genetic Center. Because I raced and I ran and I did triathlon, we thought it was only really simple to put on a 5K because we knew it was going to be easy to do, that we knew that we would generate a lot of uh, participants and that we really can get our point across. We wanted to bring that awareness factor of what Greenwood Genetic Center provided. We wanted to bring that awareness to other communities about uh, rare genetic disorders and that the parents are not alone. The funds that we raise through Race the Helix will go directly to the Greenwood Genetic Center Foundation. The foundation supports the mission of the Greenwood Genetic Center, which is to provide clinical services. So we make sure that all families who need those services have access to those, regardless of their ability to pay for them. I don't think we envisioned how important Race the Helix would be when it first started. Now that we have seen the potential, we hope to have people from every continent at some point involved in Race the Helix so that uh, we spread this across the world. We want to bring more awareness. We want to be able to help more patients and families, not only in South Carolina or the United States, but really globally. The kinds of discoveries that come out of Greenwood that in fact impact children globally are, um, it's, it's very difficult to put words to what that really means. We're starting to build a picture of what, I guess, true genomic medicine might look like for patients. And it's absolutely critical that all of the different people involved in that are able to, I guess, galvanize themselves around a unified vision uh, if we're to make the progress that I think we could see over the next few years. We really believe that out of our research, we are giving hope to the families that in the future, they will benefit from what we are doing. And that, that's what drives us to do what we do. You know, our hopes, I would say that they've, hopes and dreams, they've changed some you know, with the diagnosis, but then again, with everything she achieves, it's a dream come true. You know, every step forward that she makes um, just fills us with more pride than we could have ever imagined. There you good go, girl. good girl. Very good. Very good. <laughs> she took a step. Giving greater care is a guiding principle for the Greenwood Genetic Center and is certainly evident in the relationships built with families like the Schinnels. Because of such great support, Riley's life offers hope and inspiration to other families with children similarly affected. And as Race the Helix expands, it carries with it the progress of genetic research and treatment being developed at the Greenwood Genetic Center. For more information about services and support, or how you can become involved, please contact us at ggc.org.